loading snacks. What's going on, everybody? You boys sitting here at Baltimore Comic Con 2021. PCC! Yes, and if you've seen our interview with Aftershock, uh, this is a part two, actually. We have the publisher and the writer, one of the writers of the comic book, so we wanted to bring him here to speak with you all. So, please, sir, introduce yourself to everybody. Okay, I'm Joe Pruitt, I'm the publisher of Aftershock Comics. Okay. I'm Steve Orlando. I write a whole bunch of books for Aftershock, all of these, uh, as folks will see, and, and a lot more to come. Okay, so how does it feel to, how long have you been with Aftershock? Just the beginning or you came on later? I'm a founder, so I was at the very beginning. <laughs> you have start this thing? Yeah. So how does it feel like the reception after six years of doing Aftershock? Like, how do you like feel about being for the creators and, and, and growing to what it is now? Uh, we are in a, a great time for independent comics, Aftershock, we're booming. We're, we're doing better than ever before. It's the best year ever by far. And we're just you know, getting bigger every every month. What's your OCS? So exciting time for us. Right, right. So, with you being a, a writer, does that mean like taking these stories, putting your own twist on them, and taking them in a direction that isn't like a Marvel or a DC type of thing? Like, how's been the reception for some of these stories that you've created? Uh, it's been great. I mean, I, I've done a lot of work at DC, <laughs> um, and it was nice to be able to work with these guys and, and sort of. Put to use a lot of muscles that I don't really have, you know, when you're working on characters that have been around for 40, 50, 80 years. Here we can build stuff from the ground up uh, with pretty much complete freedom to tell the story that we want to, you know, when we walk in the door. And it's just been, it's one of, it's one of if not the most rewarding place for me to work. So I think you prefer to do this rather than the in the real pig and cow and stuff like you said people that have been around for all these years prefer is, it's not that it's not prefer but you, you have to sort of do both uh you know because they're both interesting in their own way but you, like do but it keeps it fresh when you can bounce between different types of work because obviously adding to something adding to a story that's been around for decades and decades is exciting uh, and challenging for its own in its own ways um, as is building something from the ground up so you got to do both keep yourself fresh keep challenging yourself so, do either of you have like a favorite story or a book that you have probably written or put out over the past few years? My, it, it's like, I mean, my favorite Aftershock book that I've done is probably Kill a Man, uh, okay. which is sort of like an LGBTQ plus Rocky or Creed type story. Okay. Um, and, you know, I couldn't have made it without these guys. I brought them a story that a lot of other people wouldn't publish. They supported us. It's one of my favorite things, not just that I did here, but one of my favorite things I've ever done. Okay. Well, for me, I'm also a writer, so Black Eyed Kids is a series I did after. As well. so this book, probably my favorite thing I've ever done in my career. Really? Uh, I've been in the business for almost 30 years now. This is probably the favorite thing I've done. Don't ask Three trades that. I don't And uh, I've been doing like the little horror anthology stuff. Stories in here mm -hmm. that I've read as well. So it's, I like to have both hats on. I do the business side, but I'm also the creative side as well. So for the creative side, what's up next for Aftershock and what you all might have coming down the pipeline? Something that people might be looking forward to? Uh, a lot of stuff that's <laughs> coming through the pipeline. We have a, a second launch a series of We Live and Big Giant Hit Forest and uh, Man After New York. Uh, volume 2 comes out starting December. Okay. And I'm sure we have lots of stuff with Steve in the works. It's always <laughs> super exciting to do. Amazing. Uh, so look, do us a favor. Let everybody at home know where they can find you all online and follow like your progress and work and everything you got going on. It's real easy for me. I'm at the Steve Orlando on Twitter and I'm at the Steve Orlando on Instagram. So, nice and easy. Yes, nice and clean. Smart with him, Bush. Yeah, okay. yeah, well, I, personally, I'm on Twitter. I, I just don't remember my handle. <laughs> and I'm on Facebook as well. But it, I have to shock, have to shock comics .com. Easy as well. You heard it. Look, aftershockcomics.com. Y'all know where to go to find them and everybody else on the team and all the books they got coming out down the pipeline. And go pick up something for yourself. So we got more to do. Day two, we're out. What's going on, everybody? Did you enjoy what you saw? Of course you did. So if you want to help us out and support us, here's what you can do. On whatever platform you're currently streaming us on, just like, share, and subscribe. Then head over to patreon.com forward slash loading snacks and become one of our patrons there.